hi everyone welcome to uh, this uh, quick lesson on how to create a histogram in Jupyter Notebook so I'm going to start here from my Jupyter Notebook uh, folder or directory I am already in the folder that I would like to be in and the file that I'm going to upload into Jupyter is already uh, showing here on my list so that's all good to go uh, I assume you know how to get to this point I'm just going to create a new Python 3 Jupyter Notebook and then we'll take it from there so this is going to be just a quick review on how to create a histogram uh, this is the quickest simplest easiest way to do this there are other ways of course as with everything else in Jupyter um, but I just wanted to share with you a very quick way of creating a histogram based on your data so the first thing that we're going to do is to import pandas SPD and then import mat plotlib dot pyplot as plt and that's all we're going to need for this exercise now let's uh, upload the file so I'm going to create my data frame df which is just the name of the variable that I'm giving here equals to I'm going to use pandas to read the file pd dot read now because this is an excel file actually it is not a csv it's actually an excel file underline underscore excel open brackets and then the name of the file that is height dot x l s x and then that should do it I've asked pandas to read that file now just to make sure I always like to doing a quick check so you can do df uh, dot head and there we go it's my height um, column and then I can also check here by doing df dot info open and close brackets and there we go this is the file that I was looking for I have 1000 known known float um, a verb type of variables so this is actually um, data that it's uh, publicly available it's uh, height of men in Canada in 2018 I believe the average height is 70 inches and 4 inches of standard deviation so that's what we're going to be using for the histogram now I'm just gonna re uh, cut this off here so we have more room for for the graph itself so let's get to it now I'm going to create another variable. I'm going to call it DF plot. You can obviously call whatever you'd like uh, just to make it easier. And so I remember what this is. DF plot equals to. Now I'm going to create um, that histogram. So what I'm going to do here is it's going to be my DF, which is my variable that pandas is reading. So that's the data that I just showed you, the 1000 data points so df dot plot so i'm using matplotlib for that and then open brackets and we're going to say kind equals quotation marks hist for histogram so that's the very very basics the very simple way of creating this histogram now what else can we do well i can if i want start customizing a little bit I can change the color of the histogram for example I can just say well I want to see a purple and every time that I'm putting this information I'm hitting shift enter on my keyboard which is the same as run so I'm running the cell I'm running the code so the changes are actually affected in the graph so color purple you can do red you can do any color you'd like in fact between 0 and 1 if you keep the quotation marks you get a gradient from black to white so if I put 1 for example it's all white which I don't want if I do 0 it's all black which I don't want either but I can do 0 0.7 for example and that's going to give me like a, a gray ish so from 0 to 1 it's a gradient gradient to black so I can change the color 
I can also add a title to this graph. So I want to say that my DF plot dot set underscore uh, title. So I'm saying also plot a title on top of this graph. So quotation marks and I'm going to say uh, height distribution. Of course you can call it whatever you like. Uh, it just makes sense that I call it height distribution. So here it is, height distribution. Now, you, as you can see, I'm getting the output as well. So to avoid that, I'm just going to add another code here. plt.show, open and close brackets. And all this does is just to get rid of my output. So I don't need to see that. I just want to see the graph. So you can always skip that at the very bottom of your coding. Um, what else can we do? I can also specify the number of beans of my histogram. Now, I didn't specify at first, so Jupyter already calculated the number of beans. I believe it's 10 or 11. Um, I'm not sure if there's a spurge rule that the system uses here, but there are different ways of calculating the number of beans when you create a histogram. I want to believe that Jupyter is doing the right thing, of course. But if you do want to specify, for example, I have 1,000 data points. And if I want to see 20 beans, I can also specify that. And then if I run it again, shift enter. Now I have obviously kind of the same shape. Again, I mentioned this is a normally distributed set of data. Uh, the number of beans are not going to necessarily change that shape unless you change it to one or two, which is basically very wrong. But if I don't specify, Jupyter will calculate that for me, or in this case, uh, the library matplotlib, and that's that's okay. Um, I can also add a edge color, ec edge color equals, uh, let's say black. And what this is going to do is just add those edge colors to the bars, which just it makes it a lot easier on the eyes, right? So you can do that as well. And again, you can um, put a red edge color if you like. So this is it, the very, very basics of creating a histogram using Jupyter Notebook and importing, of course, the library's pandas. I need pandas to read the file and I need matplotlib to actually create the histogram. Simple ways, you can also add, if you like, not that we really need here, but just as an example, I can also add uh, dot set a X label. It will be redundant in this case, but let's do it just for the exercise. And I'm going to say height in inches. Oh, that's a new piece of information. Maybe it is um, a good one. So what this did here is, again, I just set a X label at the bottom and as I did with the other title there and uh, I can do with uh, the graph itself I can also change the color of this one here say that I want to see a blue there we go height and in inches in blue and the font size as well font size equals I'm gonna go with I don't know 16 so it's gonna make it bigger which I could have done as well for the title. So why don't we do that? Font size. That's for the title because I am setting my title on my plot. Let's say even bigger, 18. There. Height distribution. I have my height in inches here at X label. The frequency came up with the histogram itself. And again, a very simple way of creating a neat, good looking histogram if you wanted to look at the shape of your data. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again.